All right, let's get another check on our forecast. We are on a red alert right now. Major flooding all across the tri state today. You say things are starting to look a little bit better. Oh, yeah, they're looking significantly okay. better with regard to rain that will fall moving forward. The worst has fallen, but there's still the chance for some challenges out there. We keep the red alert in effect through your morning commute, but it is possible tomorrow morning you tune in. Elise tells you, hey, we, we've downgraded this because it's no longer necessary. We're hoping for that. But because we've had plenty of problems today and there is the possibility we're keeping it in effect through the morning commute right now. Let's go ahead and give you a look live outside. It is not pretty out there, but in the city, it's better than it is elsewhere. I'll tell you that. We've got some light rain falling, obscuring the camera. It is 75 sticky degrees. Around the region, Flash flood warning. This was our latest. We discussed it just a little while ago, but just want to remind you it's still in effect until 1 a.m. This for Westchester up into Putnam, portions of Fairfield County there in total over an inch of rain had fallen and the expectation was another inch or maybe two would continue to fall in the same area leading to the potential flash flooding in the dark green. This is a flood watch. Much of the region is already getting eliminated from the flood watch, which is excellent news. But north and east of the city, this is in effect as of now until two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We could certainly see that drop off by tomorrow morning. But right now, flood watch in effect north and east until 2 p.m. And then in the bright green, it's a flood warning until 3 a.m. In the bright green, these are creeks and rivers that are approaching or have exceeded flood stage. And thus, around those areas, flooding is happening and could cause some challenges driving around on the roadways, right? The spillover is what we're witnessing after all of this rainfall. Again, maximum total that we can actually account for approaching the eight inch mark, but radar estimates, as I showed you, in some cases could approach the 12 inch mark. A foot of rain could have fallen today. We're gonna wait a little while to see if any of that validates, but nonetheless, it was significant, all associated with the slow moving storm and an air mass that was saturated with moisture. And we just continue to squeeze that moisture out as this system does not exit anytime soon. Hour by hour through your morning commute, we see that heavy rainfall moving through, hence that possibility of some more localized flooding during the AM drive time. By tomorrow afternoon at six o'clock, things are okay. Much of your daylight hours tomorrow are looking good. It will be steamy and will be drying out the best we can with high humidity, but there is a chance late tomorrow that we see a return of showers and storms. There's a chance, but certainly today was far worse than what we anticipate for tomorrow by a large margin. As we head into Tuesday, the forecast is improving even more so where we reduce the risk for storms even more. Do I think we don't see a single storm Tuesday? I'm not convinced yet, but I do think we're in a much better situation by then. Tomorrow, high temperatures will be in the mid 80s for the most part. It is muggy, but improving again through the day. We'll be in the mid 70s up north, 81 in the Hamptons. Your beach forecast is looking excellent. Again, after the midday hours, we're going to see things calming down, looking real good across the entirety of the region. We'll be in the mid 80s down shore, low to mid 80s across those south facing beaches. Your lightning risk becomes comes moderate late in the day. Of course, very early in the day, it's moderate too. And the rip current risk is low, which is great. The wave heights two to three feet, ocean temperature 72 into the low 80s. As we check out the extended forecast, red alert through tomorrow morning commute. And then as of now, we have not placed any more alerts on the seven day forecast. But of course, steamy and stormy becomes the trend later in the week. So that could change. But Tuesday, it's 88, minimal risk for a storm. We think we stay dry Wednesday, 91 with sunshine but it feels like the mid 90s thursday friday saturday we're in the mid and upper 80s storms are anticipated sunday is trending drier with a high of 87 and after this sunday we'll certainly hope next sunday delivers a much more calm forecast jessica back to you hot and stormy thanks vanessa mm -hmm.